Well, hello to Mark Linden, CEO of uh, Linden Lab, uh, creators of Second Life. Um, most of the publicity recently about Second Life has been about um, education and sex. But what's going on behind the scenes in terms of creativity? Well, there's an enormous amount going on behind the scenes uh, about creativity. Uh, Second Life is an incredible platform for creativity, and we're, we're overhauling the platform, you might say, to make it much more accessible to a wider audience, to bring in more creators. Uh, we're extending Second Life from uh, the viewer uh, and parts of it out to the web, and we're bringing more of the web into Second Life. Uh, we've added an e-commerce component so that you can buy virtual goods on the web as well as in-world in Second Life. We see these things as being things that will foster kind of a new wave of creativity in, in Second Life. Does that mean people are going to be spending more time in Second Life instead of real life, or will they more time in real life because they can get a lot of the things from Second Life in real life? Well, I think, um, I think in the long term people will be spending more and more time in the virtual world, and it'll be a, a, a probably a, a competitor of time spent in the in the real world. In, in the short term, though, we see uh, time spent in Second Life steadily increasing. Um, our our growth in terms of uh, user hours um, and, and even actual users is, is in the double digits. Right. And um, I see you getting over 80,000 concurrently quite regularly now, is that? Yes. Uh, what's, what's caused that? We, well, we've had a lot of um, uh, uh, new users register, and our active user base is growing. Uh, we're, we're at about uh, 640,000 active users. That's the people who spend more than an hour in, uh, in Second Life in a given month. Yeah. That's been growing uh, very substantially since the middle of last year. Great. And finally, can you tell us some, uh, some interesting thi things that are going on in Second Life creatively? I mean, we've got lots of art galleries, we know, and I saw, I, yesterday I went to a, uh, a reproduction of Shakespeare's Blackfriars Theatre, which not a lot of people know about. What, what other kind of uh, assessive things are going on? Oh, every day there's something new that, that uh, no one's discovered. Um, one of the things that's really intriguing to me is that uh, museums are starting to bring their content into Second Life. Uh, in the real world, uh, a museum can only display a small fraction of um, its material, of its art. And in Second Life, they can take things that they can't display in a museum and they can expose them to the world. And I think that's a, a very, very important and, and interesting innovation. People are painting on their iPhones now. Can you, will you be able to paint in Second Life? Uh, well, you can draw in Second Life, and uh, people uh, create a lot of art that they display in Second Life. Um, and uh, uh, people have also found great inspiration for uh, uh, art in, in the real world from Second Life. So there's a lot of interesting crossover. Yeah, and what about films? Where are they going? Uh, I think you'll continue to see a lot of machinima created in Second Life because it's such a rich and evocative environment. Mark Kingdon, thanks very much.